And we back! The comments have spoken, and I'm listening. It's been a minute since we've done a wheel rebuild and challenge, and today we got the impossible wheel of trades. This wheel right here has a plethora of trade ideas. Every time that we want to pull off a trade in this game, in this video, we have to spin this wheel, and it's going to tell us what player or who to trade for. Let's do a quick, a quick little test run. If we wanted to do our first trade of the video, we'd have to trade for a player that is foreign born. And I'm gonna try to do as many uh, trades as I can until we feel comfortable enough that we can win a championship. Leave a like, subscribe, let's get into it. This video is brought to you by SeatGeek. Hit the link in the description and download the SeatGeek app and use code Kenny so you can get $20 off your first purchase of tickets. Whenever I'm going to a live event, there's one place I check first for tickets and that's SeatGeek. Whether it be sporting events, concerts, Broadway. The other day I took my daughter to, to Disney on Ice. Got them on SeatGeek. They've been a sponsor for this channel for a very long time because I love the convenience factor where everything is right at your fingertips. They take tickets from all over the internet and put them in one central location for you. Let's say I want to go to Kings versus Bulls in a couple days. Only thing I got to do is click on the event. I'm going to see my venue with a bunch of different dots. The greener the dot, the better the deal. I like to just sort by best deal. And right here, this is center court row two. And it's all on a 0 through 10 scale, so that's a 9.6. But maybe that's just a little bit too expensive. We got this one behind one of the baskets for $157. And those couple clicks could have got me tickets to watch De'Aaron Fox destroy my favorite team. Be sure to hit the link in the description down below, SeatGeek, and use code Kenny so you can get $20 off your first purchase of tickets. Shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. We start off all these videos the exact same. We have to randomly select our team. We're going to stop in 3, and 2, and in 1. We're running with the Detroit Pistons. I feel like we've got the Pistons a good amount of times recently, but I'm not going to complain because that means the third overall pick, and I think I saw Nikola Jokic. So we might not have to spin this wheel crazy. Now, Every single thing on the wheel is not a positive. Right here, it says trade for a foreign born player. That's a very neutral thing. Some of them are bad trades. Like, trade your best player. Accept the worst trade in the trade finder. So on and so forth. So it's not all peaches and roses. We're going to eventually, maybe, hopefully not, but maybe end up having to do some stuff we don't necessarily want to do. So that's going to prevent us from going overboard. You know what I'm saying? Because I can say, like, oh, I think we're one trade away. And then the one time we spin it, we got to trade our best player. So here's our first official spin. Before we even look at who's on our team, we have to trade our best defender already. See, that is that is a forfeit. Now, luckily, it wasn't trade our best player. But let's see who our best defender is. So we got uh, Jokic. We have CJ. We have Keegan Murray, Yusuf Nurkic, so on and so forth. We're going to let 2K determine who our best defender is. So our best perimeter defender is the Anthony Melton. Our best interior defender is Jokic. Okay. But if you balance out the two, uh, this, this man Keegan Murray is second in perimeter defense and also pretty high on our post defense. So Keegan Murray might be the best defensive player on the team. And that might be the guy that we have to trade for this. He's got a... <laughs> well, actually, now I'm looking at it like this. This don't look like a lot. 68, 78... And then some other stuff. Um, but De'Anthony Melton's perimeter defense is pretty good, man. Lateral quickness only a 70, but like pass perception is high, defensive consistency is high, perimeter defense is high. So it, it and his steal is very high. So it's probably De'Anthony Melton. I low key wanted to keep De'Anthony Melton, but I right, we'll we'll do a little trade finder for De'Anthony by himself. No, we can't attach some stuff actually. We got some younger players towards the bottom here. Jalen Hushafino. Let's see what we got for those two players. I would like to get a nice wing on the team. Unless we get like a crazy first round pick or something like this, is not a crazy first round pick, but it is a first round pick and a good player. They were getting a good player and a first round pick, and this one, trade number seven, looks pretty good. But this Rockets pick looks really nice. So I'm going to trade for that Rockets pick um, because we might be able to use that later in the video. Okay, let's get a positive one, please. Let's get a positive one. We have to trade for a player that last name starts with A through M. That is a, a lot of people, obviously, so we really get to sit down and try to pull off maybe that star level trade to, to get Jokic some help here. So I like that a lot. A player that's A through M. So we got Antetokounmpo, we got Booker, we got Curry, we got Durant, we got Embiid, A, B, C, D, E, F. Who, who's the best player in the NBA whose last name starts with an F? Uh, Fox, De'Aaron Fox. But okay, um, how, how do we want to tackle this? I want to get a guard. Devin Book plays for the Sacramento Kings. Let's go try to get Devin Booker. Do we have the assets for it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe after that last trade, when we got that first round pick. That might be pretty good. We give them CJ McCollum. We give them Keegan Murray. Ooh, that's already a lot. Uh, we give them, let's see, do any of these young players interesting to y'all? Two star value, Dalen Terry. We got the, our own first round pick, which is good. Oh no, they're going to accept this trade. 
Give us the Omaladon back. First round pick, no good. Then we get this Rockets pick that's really good too. Boo! Trade for a player that's last name A through F. We got Book. We got Yoke. I like it. Let's see what the next one is. Hopefully, we don't have to forfeit that next trade. We have trade for a player in the Northwest. Now, I'm going to do this. Not real life Northwest, but this version of the team's Northwest. And I promise I'm not looking at this because I don't know Northwest. Uh, no, I'm doing it because it's got it all in one spot. So, I'm looking for a wing. You know, Jimmy Butler's here. Dylan Brooks is 20-something million dollars. Uh, actually, the Northwest is kind of mid here. I'm looking at it, and it ain't too crazy. Ain't nothing too crazy. It ain't nothing like... I don't like any of these teams. Okay. All right. Well, we might just have to accept like a, a role player for role player deal just to get it done with, you know? See, every trade don't have to be great. Northwest Division, first round pick that we will flip later. You know, we got a good track record with those picks. We just turned one into Devin Booker. This says trade a first round pick. Okay. All right. That ain't, that's bad, but we just got a first round pick, so we just trade one. Now, I'm going to trade our own, one of our own because it's not going to be very valuable, I don't think. It's two star. Oh, I don't like that. Let's go to 2028. That one's probably one and a half star. Let's be real. Yeah, one and a half star. Wow, how fun. Ooh, exchanging first round picks with another team. That's great. And theirs is protected. Ours was unprotected, so they finessed us. Trade for a player. No Let's. All right, next one. It's like, like, come on. You know what I'm saying? All of these things here. Trade for a former second rounder. Okay. Now, that can be fun. That can be fun. There's a lot of great people that were second round picks. We have the greatest second round pick in history on our team currently. Is there somebody else towards the top? Mm, without having to think too much. We can just go through this real fast. Who is the next best second rounder? Jalen Brunson. Wow. Now, he's a 90, though. I feel like we won't be able to have the assets to get Jalen Brunson. And again, I want to try to get a wing, too. I'm, I'm really searching for that wing. And right now, I mean, everybody's a first-round pick. Like, all of these dudes came in with high expectations. Chris Middleton's pretty good. Do we want our third roster, our, our third big money spot to be Chris Middleton, though? Like, that's the real question. Nicholas Claxton's always disappointed with his PT and everything. It's, it didn't say undrafted, so, Freddie, I'm sorry it can't be you. Draymond Green's contract is maybe a little bit too too rich for his production, especially in the game of 2K. Oof, oof. Jeremy Grant's contract is also really, really big at $27 million. We could go get like Zoo to back up Yoke. I don't know. I'm thinking too hard. Let's just go get a guy. We got Nurkic, Nazir Little in the first round pick. That's 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 some good money. That's some good money matching salary stuff. Uh, man, Aaron Gordon's really, really Aaron Gordon would be a really nice pickup. We know there's cast money Chris too, though. You know what, Chris? What's your contract again? You know what, Chris? I'm giving you a chance. I'm giving you a chance. You're a guy that I just don't trade for. And we get Isaiah Joe, who's also a second-round pick. So I see that as an absolute win, I guess. Um, we just don't trade for Chris Middleton because the contract is big. But he's up to an 85 overall after a slow start. So we'll, we'll take that, Chris. Welcome to the team. The next trade we need to do is trade for a player that is 80 through 90 or 80 through 89, which is solid because that could be the next determinant piece on the team. Now, we still got Jeremy Sohan on the team as a trade chip. And y'all know that, that that guy's good. He's gonna have some good value, especially as a younger player. So we might be able to finesse. Cause I don't wanna just go get an 80 overall player. You know, that's easy. I wanna go get an 85, 86 or something. So right now we'd be looking for a shooting guard or a power forward. And yeah, shooting guard or power forward or something like that. All right, so let's go back to all of the players in the roster and look for a shooting guard or a power forward that fits this criteria. Zion, um, we don't have the assets for him, but that fits in the contract. It's not too big either. You know what I'm saying? It also has to be somebody that's not making a max contract. Lowry marketing. Yeah, yeah, it's it's gonna be Mr. Market. He's playing with the Golden State Warriors. I, I gotta go get you, man. I gotta go get him on the team. I think that's the perfect guy. Contract is small um, at $17 million. We throw them Jeremy. We gotta make up seven. And then we give them Ayo Dosumu. And then they just have to get, oh, we can go to free agency, go pick up some people. This is a this is an easy deal, especially we consider all the first round picks we got. So you might as well start printing your Larry Marketing. Uh, Pistons jerseys right now because he's he's on the team almost get almost 99.7% chance He's gonna be on the team. You know, the and then what did I say? Just another random player Like Jeff Green and then they give us back a roster filler like AJ. Oh, no, AJ lost his contract too big All right, so we give uh, what? Um, so instead of Jeff Green, we got to make somebody that's making a little bit more so Lucas Shamanich. There we go and then oh no, oh No, we won't be able to 
we won't be able to know this is my worst nightmare this is i said 99 point something percent and that's just wrong okay so what we have to do is we have to trade we have to trade iota sumu for somebody that's making eight million dollars that's what we got to do oh wait no because that ruins we can't do that we can't do that because that ruins what we're supposed to be doing in the first place wow the lowry marketing trade is falling through more likely than not man i just can't get the money to match see that's why i didn't say 100 i said 99.7 and and that that point seven showed itself unless there is a let's see let's see unless there is a reverse trade finder deal it's gonna have chris middleton in it and yeah that's not what we want to do dang okay okay is there another way around this like how did we not sign somebody? We did not have the, the money for to, to offer. There it is. That's what we needed. Boom. Give a hey, mook. You saved the video, mook. You saved the video, mook. What's the most amount of money I can give? Hello? All right, mook. Welcome. $12 million for mook Morris off free agency. That's amazing. So we throw you and Ayo Dasumu together. The contract's max right there. And now we just say, hey, you want draft capital? I can give you up to three first round picks. And I still keep Jeremy for another trade. Here we go, another first round pick from the Raptors. Boom. I knew we was doing something wrong. We were signing people in free agency for the minimum. And I was just looking at the amount of money that was on the team. I'm like, that don't make sense. So boom, we got ourselves a player that fits the criteria. Great. Next one. I'm feeling good. The team needs some depth though. Trade for a player that is 6'7 to 6'11. That's another one that we can do. This will most likely be a bench role player. Um, which we we need those type of dudes. So that's that's pretty easy. It could be almost anybody as long as the height is right. 6'7 to 6'11. 6'7 to 6'11. Who is the best 6'7 to 6'11 guy that we can get? Oh, I saw I saw a 76. It was like, that's the guy. It's not the guy. Derrick Rose is a guard. He don't fit the criteria. To Michael Green? Uh, Drew Eubanks. Drew Eubanks is good. Drew Eubanks, welcome to the team. Drew Eubanks, welcome. It took us two second round picks and some salary filler. That's fine. That's not the that's not the swing vote though. That we need more. We need more. How do we land on... No, stop. How is it the second time we land on the same thing? I should just have it so you can only land on things once. Trade your best three-point shooter. Okay. Uh, let's determine who that player is. Uh, let's hope it's not Jokic. It's Devin Booker. Oh, my God. Devin Booker has to get traded. Wow. How disappointing is that? We gave up all of that to get Book, and now we just got to trade him away. And you know what? The trade finder. <clears throat> and the trade finder is pretty decent. I'm looking at. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Shay and Julius Randall, welcome to the team. Okay. Blessing in disguise, maybe? I guess we'll see. We got two of the top three MVP candidates in real life on the same roster. I'm liking it. Again, we need a shooting guard. We need some bench depth. So right now, we I don't know how many more spins we can get before we get some super negative stuff. Trade for a player that is seven foot tall. Everything is everything we landed on is height related. So just go get a big center. That's not nothing to write home about. Wow, Frank Kaminsky, welcome to the team. You you are the needle mover. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, we need to get Jeremy off this team, man. We need something to to use Jeremy's trade value. Please be something good. Except a random trade finder. That's fine. That's fine. That's how we get rid of Jeremy. Except the random trade finder is not bad. I mean, it could be, but I don't think it will be. Um, so we'll throw him. We'll throw J-Mac and then a second. Hopefully we get a good amount of trades. It's 28 trades. Let's see. So it is 28 trades. We have to accept trade number 11. You know what? That might be a lucky number. Please let it be a lucky number. Because that's, that's three and a half star value that we are giving up. Trade number 11 is going to be for Corey Kispert and Jaden Hardy. Ah, oh, that's not great. Ah, oh, one trade away. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right, well, and we also had like uh, this one, Mark Williams. We had Jaden McDaniels down there, Cole Anthony. But trade number 11 was the one random trade finder deal. Okay, well, we do end up getting um, Corey Kispert, who they have as a four. He is not playing power four for us. Best believe he's running small forward. Oh my God, Corey Kisper, the small forward is a 79. Okay, so Corey, you one of the best six men in the league-ish? Our bench is awful, bro. But this, and, and this is not allowing us to, I guess, put together a really competent team. We really rely on our top two guys to do a lot of the work. Trade for a former second round pick. We did that one already, so we gonna keep it moving. The next one we have to do is trade for a player in the central okay obviously i know the central because my team is in the central <laughs> 
how do we get there um we don't have contracts we don't have draft picks really so it's like Who's gonna be it? Oh, the Bucks can give us Lonnie Walker. That's a bucket getter off the bench. The Cavs will give us a first round pick. Do I gamble on the Cavs first rounder? Part of me is saying yes. Part of me is saying yes and gamble. And, and take your chances that the next time you spin, you're gonna get something that's better than basically Lonnie Walker. I'm gonna take the chance. Kenny Lofton Jr., welcome to the team. We have to hope that this, we got like two more spins left, bro. We got like two more spins and they gotta be good. This next one is trade for former second round. What the heck? Why do we keep getting the same stuff? Trade for a past award winner. See, that's a good one. That's a good one. Awards, and I mean like the real awards. I don't mean just like he was an all-rookie player. No, we mean like actually getting somebody that had some hardware. And we got a first-round pick. Now, it's going to be hard. I mean, Trade Finder is not going to have those type of players for this. It would have to be, hmm, how do we, how do we get there? How do we, how do, ooh. Didn't Derrick Jones Jr. win a dunk? No, 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 no. How do we get there? Because contractually, we, it's going to be rough to do it with minimum contracts. If we're doing, that means we have to trade one of our top players. And you know what, Cash Money, Chris, I'm sorry, man. It might have to be you to get that player. Like Harden won an MVP. <laughs> like Harden won an MVP. Um, it will be Harden and Shea. How much do I like that together? I don't know. But that Harden won an MVP award. Pascal Siakam. Won a most improved player. Like, that's not bad either. Larry Marketing also won a most improved player. And we get Nas Reed in this trade. I think that's I think that's the one. It has to be. Brandon Ingram, also a most improved player. That has to be the one. It's like, it's James Harden or Larry Marketing and Nas Reed. And Nas Reed is Nas Reed. If, if you know, you know. So, Larry going back to a small four. And then our lineup is like this. And then we got Paul, uh, uh, I almost called him Paul Reed. Nas Reed, Corey Kispert off the bench. We are like one spin away from some greatness. So let's hope that this is the good last spin of the video. Nothing too ridiculous except the, oh my God. Hopefully it is not the too ridiculous. And we're gonna have to trade for a player that last name is N through Z. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, that's a that's a softball. I love that. Um, we don't need your Eubanks no more because we have Nas Reed and Nas Reed is just better. We need, what do we need? We need a backup point guard. Some shooting guard play. We actually need, low, we low-key need a lot. <laughs> oh boy, oh, low-key need a lot. I'm gonna trade for Lindy Waters a third. I got one more spin. I got a first round pick in that. And obviously Waters starts with um, a, a, a W, I think. Um, so we got one more, one more trade. This one trade is gonna be the one to put it all together. I don't know exactly what it means, but I believe. I believe in the heart of the wheel. Like Yugi believed in the heart of the cards. Trade for a player in the Atlantic Division. Okay, that that bails us low key. That bails us low key. So let's just make sure we get all of our our eggs in one basket as we go 76s in company. Okay, so the contracts that we have are not big. So if we're pulling off a trade like this, it needs to be somebody that's making a small contract. But I also believe that I'm low key like overplaying things because do you see who's at the top of our roster? Like no matter what we do from this point on. It's probably gonna be okay. Well, the Celtics gave the best offer in the division. So, Jared Vanderbilt, welcome to the team. We needed a backup for it anyway. Um, how do I wanna play this? As ugly as it is, and trust me, it is pretty ugly. Um, I made it so Nas Reed is a four, and V8 is a small four. <laughs> and V8 is a small four. I don't like V8 as a small four, but it helps us normalize these minutes a little bit. And we are, oof, oh, ew. The back end of this rotation is bad. But playoff time, you shorten the rotation to eight, you feel better. We have no backup point guard, so it's like Shea take us to the promised land. And you know what? If there's anybody that could do it, it's going to be Shea Gilgis Alexander. Did we make the right trades or the right moves? First game of the season is a win, and Shea was elite. Same thing with Yoke. Game two of the season is a win, and we had Shea be elite, and so in y is Yoke. Oh, man, that's the best. Is this going to be go down history as the best two-man duo in the history of basketball? Are they going to be competing with themselves for MVP? I don't know, but I'm liking what I'm seeing already. I, I ain't know if I liked it at first, but now I do. Shea Gilgis Alexander is your MVP, 31, 10, and 6, two steals per game. We had an idea it might be him, and it was 65 wins for Monty Williams, and that's us, Lloyd Morris Sr., uh, we made a lot of trades, and a lot of those were great. We had Jokic fourth in MVP, because that's what that means. So that's dope. We did have them two basically competing with each other. And you know, Jokic is like, you know what, I'd rather have it so my team may get it. He was 24, 10, and 10 triple-double 
almost 60 40 60 40 80 shooting splits is insane for a 6 11 guy with the triple double so actually his his season kind of looks better than shay's uh <laughs> but hey it is what it is you're gonna take all of our wins and, oh shay was all defensive too never mind it, it's shay's war. he was all defensive on top of it you got you gotta appreciate both sides of the ball for sure so now we're in the playoffs i said this earlier we're gonna shorten this rotation we don't want no hiccups we want a 16 oh this this right here First round, we're going against the Knicks. Maxi, Vassell, Dante Exum. I uh, shout out to Dante Exum. And they got Bam on the bio down there at the center. So Jokic has to go against a good defensive center. And oh, they take a game. We go up 2 1, make that 3 1. Can we get out of here? Yes, we can. Year number two, or round number two, we see Harden and LeBron and Rudy Gobert. Wow. And they got Bubble Warren? No, that's not Bubble Warren. He's only a 76. So it's not Bubble Warren. But TJ Warren? It's a nice little team. Harden and Braun. Braun wearing a number 41 because of that. I'm disgusted. I'm just going to get through with this team. Braun is wearing a number 41. Don't even fit him. 41 is a very exclusive club. And, and it's, LeBron can they get, cannot get in that club. Zoe and DeJounte Murray. Wow. Bro, sometimes I look at the 2K generated or drafted teams. I'm like, man. Jokic has a number 50, by the way. I, look, I say, man, whoever drafted that team did a really good job. Whoever drafted this team did a really good job. And here they are in the conference finals as a sixth seed. So, shout out to them. Unfor Ooh. Ooh. I was going to say, unfortunately, they run against the MVP and, and the guy that finished fourth in MVP. But they're up 2-1. They're up 3-1 in this series right now. Huh. I do not like that one bit. I do not like that one bit. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not letting this rookie outclass you, uh, Yoke. Don't let this rookie outclass you now. Come on, man. This game is a blowout win. We'll take this. We move on to the next one. Okay, okay, okay. You know, show them that you're not going out without a fight. And we just beat them by 54 points. So, they know this is serious. We don't play. We don't play. Shout out to Julius Randle with the 38 piece. I forgot you was on the team. I cannot lie. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Keep it going. Two more wins. We win this one on the road. We gar guaranteed game seven win if we win this on the road. And it's a close game. It's not so close anymore. The MVP of the league. He, I bet it was, it was Shea. He came through, didn't he? He came through. Yep, I saw it. And then a triple-double here for Big Yoke. Here we go. Game seven. We were down 3-1 in the conference finals, baby. We back home in Detroit. I think it's still Little Caesars Arena. Detroit basketball. We put up 40 points in their opening quarter. And whatever happens after that don't matter to me. The boys are hooping. And we are in the NBA finals to go against Giannis. Now, they went to seven games. The lower seed has won a bunch of series here. There's an eight seed one and a six seed series on this side. It was a six seed. It was a seven seed. Here we go. If it gets Giannis, Miles Turner, this is a really nice thing. Other than Justice Winslow being your starting three, I'm looking. I, I'm looking at you. You know who I'm talking to. Justice Winslow um, being your starting three. Everything else is really, really solid. You guys, nothing but shooters around Giannis and then Justice Winslow. We are the better team though. We are the better team. They were a six seed. We were the one seed. Game one is a win. A very convincing win. Game two is a win. A very convincing win. Game three is a win. A very convincing win. All right, we get out of there. Five. There it is. Five game series. So, Shea wins regular season MVP. Jokic wins finals MVP. We lucked out heavily by having Jokic. And then we also lucked out by it telling us to trade our best three-point shooter. We trade Devin Booker for Shea Gilgis Alexander. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you enjoyed it, leave it a like, subscribe, and come back tomorrow because I'll have another video for y'all. Peace.